In eternity past, God placed his hand on a small portion of Thetis Island, located off the eastern shore of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. As time passed 35 years ago, he placed in the heart of Charlie and Marlene Fordham a call to establish Cape and Ray Harbor Bible Center, a restful place for students of all ages who could come to discover the truth of the Bible and know the sufficiency of the indwelling Christ. Equally true, Cape and Ray Harbor became a conference center utilized as an outdoor school for the local children, team building conferences for the corporate world, family reunion holidays, weddings, a place where ministers of the word can find rest in annually conducted Christ Center conferences for both men and women. From the very beginning, Jehovah God has placed his hand on Cape and Ray Harbor. In early days, walking paths were made of mud. Tents were often used to house students at times, and drinking water held an obvious sulfur taste. Hay baling and cattle were a delightful sight to city dwellers, and mosquitoes were always available to bite a newcomer from the city. Leaders and all staff members were required to be all-around handy people, as they would have to fix a broken pipe, serve in the kitchen, or type a letter. Often it was difficult to communicate over the expanse of 99 acres. This added time to complete numerous tasks until walkie-talkies settled some of the problem. Soon bicycles were used to speed up the process, until golf carts and cell phones settled the problems completely. Yet without the modern day advance or development, God has always been true and faithful as promised. As God allowed the facilities to develop and serve to ministers in different ways and means, staff members became specialists in specific areas of service towards a coordinated ministry. One very vital element through all the seasons of improvement has been serve every student and visitor with the love of Christ. God has blessed the people of every continent through the faith and loyal devotion of Major Ian Thomas, founder of Torchbearers. As a result of his commitment to the Lord, discipleship, love for youth, and presenting biblical teaching, and his rich desire for everyone to know him who was from the beginning. Recognizing that as the creature, apart from the Creator, we are nothing, we have nothing, and we can do nothing. A simple principle that has never changed in the heart of God since first he made man through the Word, the Logos, our Lord Jesus and that faith is the link in the divine equation that lets God be God in action in a man. In the beginning days of this God-ordained facility, there were in fact difficulties. Cape and Ray struggled like any other human institutions, staffing, funding, property improvements, but always maintained the call to present proper biblical doctrine while providing an ongoing program of education and recreation. And of course, always competing activities and projects around the routine of the ferry schedule. Nevertheless, all these challenges were met with persistence and the knowledge that God was in fact the author and designer of every building, every program, every curriculum, and knowing that he lived in the life of every staff member. If there was one word to describe the faith of the Fordhams, every staff member and lecturer speaker, it would be perseverance. God's hand, his mercy and grace has never departed. Since the first class of students to the class of 2014, 
Hundreds of students of all ages have experienced Christ-centered, expository teaching from men and women around the world. Families have enjoyed relaxation and the joy of hearing the Word during the summer months at holiday Bible weeks. Even the occasional traveler off the ferry might come over to ask a couple of questions and enjoy a cool drink while sitting on the patio to absorb the majesty of God's glory. The psalmist writes in Psalm 105, O give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done. His miracles and the judgment he uttered. O offspring of Israel, his servant, children of Jacob, his chosen ones.